Hey, it's Danny the Plumber, and right now I'm going to show you guys how to fix a pinhole leak in a copper tubing like this without soldering. Right here I've installed a band-aid clamp, and I'll show you step by step how I did it. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, there's quite a puddle that has built up over the weekend at a building that I am the building plumber for, and it was spraying on this car a little bit. It's just a tiny little pinhole that's spraying. Sometimes these pinhole leaks can be really tricky to spot because it's such a fine mist and it can shoot several feet away. But here's this one um, and it's right in the crease of that pipe right here. This is like a um, reducing fitting and it was right in the crease of that and a little more difficult. If it's right in the center of a pipe, super easy to fix, but we're going to be able to fix this one today. This building is a 52 unit complex and in order for me to solder um, in a new piece of pipe I would have to shut down the whole building and drain the whole building and I would have to, it would take several hours to do this. Draining a building this size just takes a long time. This is two inch pipe coming in as you can see and there's two of these for the building, one on either side and it's just something I don't want to do today. So today we're going to use a band-aid clamp to repair the pipe. Here are some of the items I've used. I've got just a hose clamp here to fit around the pipe and right here I've just got a flat sheet of rubber. You can get this on Amazon um, or at a hardware store or something like that and I'm gonna make my own band-aid clamp out of it. So I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut a little tiny corner out of this sheet of rubber here. And it doesn't have to be very big, it can just be pretty small, something like that size. Next, I'm going to grab myself that sand cloth you see there. I use that to clean pipe, but you can use any piece of fine sandpaper. And I just want to clean this uh, area up real well so it's nice and shiny. So I'm going to try and do that with one hand, but it works better with two uh, here while I hold the camera. Okay, so I've got it nice and clean with the sand cloth, just so that rubber has somewhere nice to adhere to. And now I'm going to clean it with a rag and we'll be ready for the next step. Alright, as you can see it's right there in that crease and as I said before, this becomes a little more tricky than if it's right in the center of the pipe. But not a problem, we're going to be able to do it. I grab my hose clamp right here and I like to get it started. It's just easier to work this way and I've got in this case a 5 16 nut driver which is pretty common for the hose clamps and I like to get it started. Okay once I've got it started and locked in place on that pipe I'm going to grab my small little section of rubber there and I'm going to find the center of the pinhole and try and line that rubber up with the center of the, the rubber. So the rubber and the pinhole uh, both centered and then I'm simply just going to tighten that um, hose clamp up with my nut driver like this and you can see it's still leaking a little bit right here because it's not tight enough but as I continue to tighten this thing down that leak is going to stop for me. And um, one other thing that some plumbers do is grab a, um, this is called a torque wrench and it torques at 60 pounds per square inch and that just really really gets it a nice and tight in there and I'll do that don't want to go much tighter than that because we can damage you know the pipe or probably the hose clamp would break but then I'll dry it off and make sure that I have no leaks for sure and it looks pretty good I don't think I have any leaks here and of course I'm gonna wait several minutes and just to keep seeing if there's a leak, keep testing it and drying it off. But right now, the first time I did it, I had no leaks, just very first time. And this works really well for a long period of time. I don't like to do this permanently, but in a pinch, this will work really well and I've seen them last several years. All right, that's how you fix a leak in copper tubing without having to solder or shut off the water. I hope you guys found this helpful. Please see some more of my videos on my channel. If you uh, enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks.